the cut out muscle teleports coming in to oh try to do God. something. This could but be this should be the Baron. What? Fake is gonna dive on in and oh my oh! God! Fake the Baron. This Baron, an AD carry being bottom. Oh, oh my God! He's doing it! Oh! Oh, Jensen! Can they find a team fight? Is the question. Oh, what? The Baron down the what? Line. They stole it with a fight seeker. Live oh, finds the roof flashing back to the pit. All they do is make oh. the fight. Hello everyone, I'm Shox and this is Ultimate List, the home of LoL Esports' craziest and most legendary moments of all time. And today, we are diving headfirst into the Baron Pit, one of the most entertaining corners of Summoner's Rift, where teams go to gamble with the hopes of winning the game in order to get that all-important buff. But sometimes, that gamble does not pay off. Sometimes the enemy swoops in and yoinks away the objective at the last moment. I am, of course, talking about the classic art of the Baron Steel. Curtain call. Gonna try to stack and... Oh! What? What? How did he manage that? Completely changing the trajectory of pivotal matches through one well-timed ability, nothing gets us screaming faster than the Baron Steel. And today, we're looking at five of the most legendary Baron Steels in Lolly Sports' history. At the LPL 2018 Spring Finals, fans finally saw their beloved Uzi win his first domestic title. And although RNG ended up defeating EDG, they started the series on the back foot, losing Game 1. But everything changed with the arrival of jungle legend MLXG, who was called up in Game 2 and immediately made his presence known. From his crushing jungle invades as Olaf in Game 2 to his Drake steal in Game 3, MLXG was on fire. And when it looked like EDG could take the series to Silver Scrapes in Game 4 after a failed engage by RNG in the mid lane, MLXG showed us all why he's nicknamed MLXGG by stealing the Baron as Nocturne. The jungler's alive, this is burning down fast. Let me go for the initiation, Got him jumps all. in once again, gets all five members between the top lane jungle, Mala Sanquo, Redemption! Thanks to MLXG's Baron steal, RNG took back control of the game, ending the series to earn Uzi his first ever LPL title, as well as a ticket to MSI which MLXG won as well, and then Rift Rivals and the Asian Games later that year. Yeah, I can see why LPL fans love MLXG so much. Mad Lions may not have won MSI this year, but Karzy won the hearts of viewers everywhere with his dazzling AD carry play, especially in the tournament semifinals against the reigning world champions Damwon Kia. Karzy popped off that series, finding a bunch of solo kills versus the LCK bot lane alongside his support, Kaiser. Huge. Kaiser, they're looking for him. Kikusin blows the gun line with Glacial Fissure as well, and Ghost is down. What? Kaiser takes the kill. But Karzy's most impressive play of the series came in game two, when he pulled off one of the slickest Baron steals I've ever seen. The fog of war. Here comes the TP. How much is left on that Baron? Three Kaiser and Kaiser dives in with Glacial Fissure, looking for the damage here. Eddie Oya stepping in as well, but he has been hooked. Karzy's gonna dodge with a Feather Storm. Khan off to a. Oh, oh, Karzy! Forced to use his Fetterstorm ultimate to dodge Nautilus's depth charge, Karzy made the best out of a bad situation. Using his flash and then Gale Force dash to get behind the Baron, the angle needed to blade collar his Fetters back and slay the epic monster. This next one might sting LCK fans because we're going to look back at the 2018 World Championships. Specifically, Cloud9's quarterfinal victory over Afrika Freaks, aka the series where Cloud9 ended the LCK's global dynasty. What the heart? Oh, they're going for it! Oh, what a hook by Tushin! They're gonna find the way in though, the orange gonna come across, and the knockups are there! Is this the fight? It's two for zero, and the Guardian Angels are popped! This could well be it! Look at him clean up the map! And the last! Of Korea has been destroyed. This series was non-stop action, producing a bunch of highlights like Jensen's LeBlanc deleting Kuro again and again and again. But the play of the series wasn't one of the match's many solo kills. It was actually a now legendary World's Baron steal by Cloud9's then rookie top laner, Licorice. To buy time, but it would be almost the last case. They're gonna try, they're gonna dive into the pit, plenty of damage available, but will they even stop the Baron as the spike? Oh, he gets to kill the jungler! Who's gonna get it? Oh. You gotta be kidding me! Licorice solo carrying this game! Contesting the Baron with only Jensen after Cloud9 lost the team fight, Licorice began his counterattack by knocking up Afrika with Orn's Call of the Forge God. He then dove into the pit to assassinate jungler Spirit before stealing the Baron with one very well-timed swing of his hammer. 
Over the last decade of LOL Esports, we've seen all sorts of random abilities stealing Baron, from Ezreal's True Shot Barrage all the way to Yumi's Prowling Projectile. But back in 2013, LCS viewers witnessed the original one in a million Baron steal, courtesy of Vulcan support Bloodwater up against Cloud9, who were absolutely steamrolling through the league in their debut split, Vulcan unsurprisingly found themselves losing Baron late into the game. Vulcan's only two remaining members alive were Bloodwater and their jungler, Xmithy. And while C9 were busy making sure Xmithy was far away from the objective, Bloodwater pulled off a now legendary play. There's the burn, the shield's gonna wear off the time. Oh, the ultimate goes across. He gets out with 100 HP. The player, are you oh kidding me? Oh, Bloodwater steals Baron with a... I don't even know what to With say. With a rank one tornado. While this game didn't have huge global implications like some of the other entries on this list, Bloodwater's rank one Janna tornado remains the original play that made us all believe that no Baron is impossible to steal. Sometimes all you need is an 85 damage tornado and some faith. You're saying you still have a chance. There's always a chance <laughs> of stealing Baron Rude. And there's no way we could talk about Baron Steals without mentioning the epic 2016 LCK Summer Split Finals between the Rocks Tigers and KT Rolster. Not only did the Rocks Tigers finally win their first LCK title here, but the match was incredibly intense, going all five games. And on match point, everything pointed to a KT win after a huge fight broke out mid. Thanks to the momentum from that team fight, KT then found a pick onto Rox's jungler Peanut. Easy Baron now, right? Well, not quite because Smeb, who for the majority of the game was pretty quiet, found the championship winning Baron Steel. Even with Pina down, Gangplank O is up, remember. Rocks Tigers fighting for their tournament life here, fighting for perhaps their team life. Baron taken, oh, taken by Smeb! Oh! Smeb stole the Baron! Smeb stole the Baron! They're going after Fly now! Thanks to the Baron, Rox could snowball their new lead into a championship. A lead that was only possible from KT Jungler's score miscalculating his smite by 2 HP. Yes, you heard me correctly. Smeb sniped the Baron at 2 HP. It's game Check five. This. When you can have a this right oh. 2 HP! Oh my 2 God. HP on that Baron, the cannon barrage! Luckily for score, he got to learn Smeb's secret trick to stealing Baron when they teamed up the following season. I'm Shox, and that has been this week's episode of Ultimate List. Were there any Baron steals that we forgot to mention, or are there any topics you'd like us to talk about in one of the next episodes? Let me know in the comments below or hit up Lolisports on Twitter. See you later, everyone.